Howdy folks. Let's go over custom commands. WebDriver IO allows us to extend the browser instance with our own set of commands. So just like we have browser.get URL, browser.get title, browser.url, all those methods, we can add our own methods on there if we want. You might want to do that if you find yourself doing a lot of repetitive tasks somehow where you just want to group all those together and do that. That might be a good way, but another way is, is if you do API calls, like in the last tutorial, we went over the browser.call command. Sometimes if you do that all the time, you might want to wrap that in its own command that extends the browser instance. It might make it a little bit easier. But first, let's, let's go over grouping some basic commands. So let's, let's go over the example that they have here. So to add a new custom command, you just do browser.add command. And this can be pretty done pretty much anywhere you want. The majority of the time though, you're gonna to wanna to put this in the before hook in the config file. This way that in all of your tests, you'll have access to this command in all, in all of your tests. So let's do that now. So we've got our config file here. And let's get to the before hook. Here we go. And if you remember, we did Babel register. What the before hook does is run before all of our tests. So what this does is define our new method before all of our tests run. And that's how we get access to that throughout all of our tests. I'll go over all these hooks in the upcoming videos as well. But first, let's, let's just um, let's add a new command. Let's just add it foobar. All right. So we got that. And what do we want to do? Maybe, maybe we want to get the, um, let's take this example. Let's get the URL and the title of the page. So we can do, oh, this is not an arrow function. So we can do, let's just return Do URL. You can do this.url or you can do browser.url. Either way, it's the same. Let's do this.url or get URL. And then let's do title. And then let's just do something foo. Um, Let's see, foo, let's just do something custom. And we'll specify foo here. All right, so this should return an object here. So now we should be able to call, call this method inside of all of our tests. So let's try that out. So we want to call browser.foobar with some kind of title here or text or something. So I've created a browser add command file and we're just gonna open up a page. So now we should have access to that method. So we can just do browser dot, we named it foobar, foobar. And we said we'll accept some kind of parameter of foo here Let's just do some custom text. All right, so we've got our custom command. Let's console.log that to see what we get. And let's run the test. Ah, this.get URL is not a function. Is that not a valid function anymore?
Okay. So I guess get URL is not a valid method anymore, which makes sense. I wonder if it's just URL, but whatever. That's not a big deal. Browser dot get uh, this dot get title is. I think uh, the get title was in version four, but it's not in version five. All right, so we've got that, and it's actually the title is pending. Why is the title pending? Okay, I think we're going to actually need to treat this asynchronously. So let's try to await on it. We don't have to do this when we actually call a command, but I think inside of add command, it's doing things asynchronously, which should be fine. All right, now we get the title of the internet. All right, so we can do that. That's fine. I didn't know we had to do that, but nevertheless, that's okay. So we that. So look, we were able to call our custom command browser.foobar with some custom text. And we've got some custom text down here. So good. All right, so let's add another command. Let's do our API again. But let's wrap it in this command so it'll be much cleaner to use throughout our um, program. Let's do browser. Let's just do make request. So let's do, so essentially we just want to make an API call here or something. So maybe we'll pass in, let's say users again. So we'll pass in users and then let's see, why is that giving me errors? That's fine. So let's do, let's do a promise again. Let's just return new promise set timeout let's set a timeout for three seconds and we'll resolve our promise with from our API call So now we have, why is this giving me errors? That's weird. Maybe there's just something going on with linting. Browser to add command, make request, function. What am I missing? No, no, I don't think I'm missing anything. I think this is just the uh, TypeScript button for some reason. All right, that's fine. So now let's try to call make request. Oh, I'm an idiot. That needs to be data. <laughs> or that's because that's going to be our whatever call we make. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. So let's just do from our API call, let's just do data like that. So now we can do browser.make request. So instead of that, let's do oh, sorry, request. Browser.make request with user. This is where we put users. Hmm. All right, so let's log that. So essentially, the browser.make request, inside of it, it's a promise, so it's asynchronous, but since we're doing it like this, just like with a call method, it's treating it synchronously. So we're not gonna get to this console.log until this promise has completely resolved. So after three, this, after the three seconds, it's not going to hit. So let's try that out. So it's waiting the three seconds and boom. So now we got from our API call users. So perfect. So that's good. So if we were to actually use a real API, Let's just do, let me just comment this out for now. You have to do it slightly differently based on what data returns. So like, let's take the example off of here. 
So this uses, where is it? Oh, that's version four. So version five docs, let's see. So if, if this is using the request client, previous video I talked about Axios, they're very similar. But you see how it returns their body, response.body. So what we would have to do, see, so we could do it a couple of different ways. So we could do request. So let's do it um, ES6 way. So we can do request.get. Um, and then we can do like our, our data, which is our route. Let's just name this better. This is actually like our route, our API route. So we can do like const data or const data equal request. And then we could return data.body. And that's what we would want to return. So we could do that. So your API call, your API call is now wrapped into make request. So you just have to pass it some kind of command. So if we don't want users, maybe we want um, students or I don't know lists or something. It doesn't matter. That's the basics of the add command.